the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 239 2 Chronicles 26-28 Uzziah from humility to arrogance Unlike Uzziah and Zotam who did good in the sight of God, Ahaz did evil by seeking help of Assyria and Gentile gods. First point. The tenth king of South Judah, Uzziah, did well during the early years of his reign by providing for the people to grow crops and to cultivate the land abundantly. Uzziah became the next king after Amaziah, something that stands out in the record of the 500 years of monarchy is that the kings of South Judah's actions were recorded, as well as the names of some of their mothers. Some kings received excellent education from their mothers and did well in the eyes of God, and others followed their mothers in idol worship which led to God's anger. Jacoliah's son, Uzziah's first and second half of monarchy was completely different. Uzziah was influenced by his parents, much like a lot of other kings. But the person to influence him the most was the prophet Zechariah. When Zechariah was alive, King Uzziah did what was right in the eyes of God. But after Zechariah died, Uzziah became arrogant. Uzziah ruled South Judah for 52 years. First, he managed to expand his forces. He won against the Philistine, Arabia, and Maon, and thus expanded the territories of South Judah. South Judah even received tribute from Ammon during this time. Second, South Judah itself grew extensively. Uzziah helped the people grow their crops and live in abundance. Third, the military forces during this time grew substantially. During the early years of his reign, there were 307,500 soldiers and 2,600 patriarchs. Second point, when the country became strong, Uzziah grew arrogant and tried to offer the burning of God's incense himself. Uzziah did well in front of God during the first half of his reign. And so God blessed South Judah immensely. But when South Judah grew strong, Uzziah became arrogant and changed his style of rule. Uzziah did not listen to God's prophet and did exactly as he pleased. If Uzziah had listened to God's words, it would have made all the difference. Rather than listening to God's prophet, he locked him up for guiding him in the direction of a kingdom of priests. Because of this, Uzziah suffered from leprosy and had to live outside the palace. Third point, the 11th king of South Judah, Jotham, did right in the eyes of God, but the people during his reign did evil. After Uzziah, his son Jotham became the 11th king of South Judah. Jotham did well in the eyes of God. However, the people of South Judah caused a problem, as they did not listen. Jotham continued on the architectural workers of his father. Also like his father, he won against Ammon, and thus received the tribute from them. However, unlike his father, he did what was right in the eyes of God until the end, and therefore received God's blessing. Fourth point. The twelfth king of South Judah, Ahaz, worshipped idols for the sixteen years he reigned. After Jotham, Ahaz became king of South Judah. Jotham followed in the ways of his father's early reign. As for Jotham's son Ahaz, he did not follow in his father's way. Ahaz relied on Assyria rather than God. 
I had worshipped idols, and all throughout his 16 years, he not once turned to God. In order to punish Ahaz, God sent Aram and North Israel to attack South Judah. South Judah lost to North Israel, and consequently, 200,000 people of South Judah were taken as captives to Samaria. This was the punishment given to South Judah. But during this time, God sent his prophet in order to tell the people of South Judah God's message. God explained through his prophet that the reason South Judah was taken as captive to their brother nation North Israel was because of their sins. God had warned of this back in the days of Moses regarding brother nations in a kingdom of priests. Thankfully, the people listened. Fifth point, Ahaz asked the Assyrian king for help, but he did not ask God for help. Ahaz's later years of reign were recorded. The first was that Ahaz made an alliance with Assyria when Edom and Philistine attacked. Ahaz ignored the warning of Isaiah and relied on Assyria rather than God. The second was that Ahaz could not receive help from Assyria, but instead was raided and attacked by them. The third was that Ahaz nevertheless continued to worship idols. The fourth was that Ahaz damaged even the temple. He went as far as to take in an idol from Damascus into the Jerusalem temple. And then Ahaz died. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.